For doing your first mural, how hard was it to do your first mural, by the way? Did it, did it just, uh, it was like, and it went perfectly? Or did it, I mean, how do you feel about it? To sum up a very good friend of mine, he said, uh, before I went to do this, he said, uh, just understand, at every point in every wall I've ever done, there's a point where you think, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to finish this wall. Yeah. And he said, just understand, you, you'll probably have that thought. And I did have that thought. I did for the first two days. But my personal goal was I just kept working. Yeah. I just kept, you know, showing up, doing what I could do, and going home at the end of it. I, I realized that because I didn't have the experience of a lot of other people, I was going to have to push harder. Hmm. And I had to fix a few mistakes, but honestly, it, it wasn't like I started at zero. Like when you're when you've been an artist for as long as I had been before that point in time, um, it's just a matter of working with a new technique, which was the spray paint. And it wasn't like it was more difficult, but it wasn't uh, an impossible thing once I got going. I figured out how to get everything I needed out of it. I'd also done a lot of work before I showed up at the wall. I painted some small things at my house, that oh, kind of right. stuff. That's... So I'd, I'd, been, I'd been working for a while. It wasn't out of nowhere. That makes sense. It didn't even occur to me. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you could try yeah. something before you go. Duh. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the, last, the last thing I wanted to do was show up and have this big wall in front of me. But uh, I'll tell you, the guys around me, they were very, very proficient with their their tools. So they could do things that, uh, you know, if they've spent, I've spent 25 years painting on canvas, they've spent 25 years painting on walls. Mm -hmm. So they could get a lot more uh, a range of effects. They knew what to expect, how to fix problems. You know, and I've since learned an awful lot. I'm a a lot better than I was on my first wall in 2017. But, um, you know, it's, it, it was also a personal challenge. It was, I don't know how to do this. I've always wanted to do this. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I often think sometimes we should do things we're afraid of. If it's not going to kill you, you should probably do the thing you're most afraid of because there's something to be learned in it. Uh, there's some growth that you can get for yourself. Mm-hmm.